It's privileged to have Ashish Bansal, who is a Sitecore MVP and working as a Sitecore strategist and leading company, leading bank in UAE. So he who will he'll take us through the customer centric approach for a digital ecosystem using Sitecore data and analytics. On behalf of SUG Chennai, welcoming Ashish Bansal for this webinar. Extending my warm welcome to all the participants. So over to Ashish. We are very excited to hear from you. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, it's my pleasure to host in the Sajuri, Chennai. I'm just sharing my screen. So just let me know once you see my screen. You can see my screen, correct? Yes, we are able to see. Okay, thank you. Good. So first of all, good evening all, uh, and thank you, Suchinay, to host me. So today our topic is more like a customer-centric approach for digital ecosystem. So one of the requests to me uh, from my side is like uh, to all the participants, uh, please uh, attend this session as a or as a company owner point of view, not for the development or any uh, architect point of view. So you can get more out of this session. Yeah. So just a quick introduction, who I am. I am, uh, my name is Ashish Bansal and I'm currently working in the UAE, uh, one of the leading bank. And I am a um, commerce and uh, technology certified and MVP from last three years. Currently I am working as a, digital architect, uh, which include all uh, digital technology stack. And uh, I have 12 plus year of experience in total IT and marketing space. I started working on the site code from the year 2009 with the version 5.3. And I involved in uh, 15 plus uh, successful site code delivery for big enterprise. I am a technical blogger. You can find my blog on sitecoresolution.blogspot.com. You can also follow me on the Twitter. My handler is Sitecore underscore Ashish. And I'm one of the co-founder and initiator of Sitecore user group UE, uh, Dubai. So now we all know we are thriving from the digital world and uh, everyone is talking about the digital. And uh, we know we came from the era where everything was physical and now we are moving to the virtualization and the digital. So in the first few minutes, like I will talk more about the digital, how we are adopting the digital. And at the same time, we are also facing some problems in the digital as well, correct? So from the technology point of view, from the process point of view, we have to take care of a lot of uh, things which can make our business fully digital. And I can say the digital transformation in the big organization. So my important and uh, it's a it's a figure is here so everybody know how a digital company or the internet based company have captured the market over the few over the uh, period of 10 year or 15 year you can easily see the data and uh, where we are talking about all the walmart target call which is more like a physical stores when amazon come into the market the retail business he captured like 150 percent of the share of the market yeah and uh, we see how the value is changed over the 10 years so if you see the other value where all the big players were struggling to stable in the market however at the same time walmart and amazon was enjoying the returns so the only key thing they are digital they are online and the business model is changed so we know the power of digital yeah at the same time we saw the company who don't put a lot of efforts on the digital and innovation at the same time we got failure as well and uh, results are here like we saw kodak we saw ibm and a lot of company who are not properly focused and uh, up to the market as, as per the market need and uh, they have to be out of the market and they have 
lacking behind and a lot of loss. So the key thing is like we have to be up the market in the term of the digital transformation, in the term of the current business need, so we can uh, make uh, in the business and you know we can up to the mark. So you know like there are a lot of company which is only digital and internet based. So now the technology because of the technology things are changed and there are a lot of business that don't have any dependency on the physical. So you can see the PTM, booking.com, their whole business model is on online. So they are internet based company and they are the top 10 companies in the world right now. So you can see like how uh, industry are moving towards the digital, towards the internet, towards the uh, uh, transformation and how they are making and capturing the market share. So we talk about like, okay, digital is important and the top notch companies who are making money are making from the digital internet. But what is the real problem as per the technologist, as per the developer or as per the company technology management? Yeah. So once we talk about the digital, there are digital also comes with a lot of problem. Yeah. So I relate this problem as a 3M problems. So what are these three M problem in the digital or in the uh, technology world? The first is a multiple customer. Yeah. So right now in the digital world, we have multiple customers based on multiple things. Second thing is you now we have multiple touch points. So if you your customer is interacting with your brand, they have multiple options. So if I give the option like a uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, we are hearing just an. Uh background noise something like that so can you please uh, take your uh, microphone away and speak uh, something like that. yeah so i think noise is not from my end you have muted all the other trendies yeah yes okay cool now I, still you are able to hear some noise or is it fine yeah while you are speaking we are hearing some noises Okay. Wait a minute. So now can you hear me properly or still you are facing the problem? Uh, it's somewhat better now, but a little bit. But fine, you can continue. Yeah. Okay. Let me know like if there is a noise or something. Because I am on, I'm not on the microphone, so I don't want the microphone. Cool. So I think uh, the second biggest problem is the uh, multiple touch points. So currently, if you talk about uh, about your brand, so let's suppose you have an example of a bank. So you have multiple options. So let's suppose you have a mobile app, you have website, you have branch, you have customer care. So you can think like you have multiple options with your uh, brand interaction. So you have to take care of all this channel as well. Now the third thing, your multiple technology and the platform. So again, you have a different platform, different technology which you need to take care of and you are providing a digital solution to your clients. So when we talk about the multiple customer, so currently we have multiple diversified customers. Yeah? So they can be based on nationality, age, income, their spending power would be different, their personal preference, might be some are the digital savvy, some are still want to continue with offline transaction and the online transaction. Some maybe want to prefer only the branch. So in that example, you have to take care of all type of customers. This is a pain, you know? And because their behavior are different, their uh, preference are different, their age are different, might be you have to tackle differently all your customer. Okay, you, as I mentioned, you have multiple options. You have website, you have mobile app, you have social media, you have call center, email, POS, ATM. Yeah. So how you can provide the only channel experience to your customer is really important. And we can take this in one example, like why multiple touch point is really uh, huddle in this digital marketing system and how we can connect it. 
the third one is uh, multiple technology so to solve one problem you have multiple options so now you have to be carefully choose how we can do uh, which technology we need to use or if you want to provide a multiple uh, experience or the omni channel experience you have to take care of the other system as well yeah so only website is not fulfill the customer requirement or the business goal because in one of the enterprise organization as per the survey there are more than 75 uh, system and technology installed so you can think from crm point of view from marketing point of view from google point of view from your admin point of view from your data point of view so things are different and how you can map it it's important So if you think about the customer journey map and how the customer is interacting with your brand, it's really important. So brand is nothing like your uh, company and how customer is interacting with your company. So there are some before purchase, during purchase and after purchase. So in before purchase might be he's not coming to your website. He's more moving to the uh, social media. They are word of mouth, community, advertisement, where customer is planning to buy product or planning to engage with your brand during the purchase might be customer is visiting your website he is uh, making some transaction of your on your website through e-commerce or maybe it's a crm and the third one is after purchase or you can say the lifetime customer value where again a lot of uh, tools technology people process are involved your marketing communication your crm system your follow-up emails so if you think of the whole journey of the customer, website is only the one element where we are working on, yeah. So if you want to provide a very good customer experience or if you want to see the big picture, you have to rethink your customer journey from big time. Now I'm giving you one example where we can take how brand is important, how the technology and the omnichannel experience is really important. So I'm taking an example, uh, how your customer interaction with your brand. So let's suppose there is a guy called John and John want to uh, one credit card and he already bought one card from a bank. Yeah. And then he's uh, happy with the card and he's uh, enjoying that particular card and sharing the good feedback with the friends. So now suddenly, uh, bank is not uh, giving the good offer to John, or maybe he is not satisfied with the bank service. So now in this particular time, John is not happy with the service which bank is providing. So what John did, he is in negative mood, and he started posted a negative post on the social media about the brand, about the card, and all. Now at the same time, the same product team like from the bank is calling and they want to sell the other product like let's suppose i have a card i'm not happy and i'm getting called from the bank and they are planning to sell the loan so you want a personal loan from us so think about the john experience like i'm not happy with your card so your product team should know like i'm not happy i'm posting negative post still you are selling to some plan to me Maybe like he will bombard with the, their frustration to the guy and it's not a good strategy at all. Yeah. So how a customer connect with your brand, not sub-department? So what is the big uh, perception in the any big organization? They, all people are working for some people and process and they have some set of technology. But once a person is interacting with your brand, they are focused on your brand. They don't care what your internal organization look like, how they are not communicating with each other, or maybe your system and tools are not capable to provide uh, the real-time experience and the communication. So the organization which is not very omnichannel, uh, providing omnichannel, they look like this. So in the whole bunch, you can see if you interact with the website, there are different process, there are different tools under the organization who are handling the website. And let's suppose I call to the call center, then there is a different boundary. We are set of people are different, tool and technology are different. 
So people don't know what happened with the website when they are calling on the call center. Same happened with the other media as well. So now we talk about a lot of problems here. We talk about what is the digital uh, transformation and digital, why digital transformation is important. And uh, we saw there are a lot of problems as well with the digital transformation. So what is the solution? The solution is like I'm not providing a, any solution here, but yes, we can minimize the problem. Uh, again, like uh, there is easy solution. The solution is very simple, centralized customer communication. So if the organization are going to adopt this approach, a centralized customer uh, communication, they can increase their customer confidence. They can provide the operational experience. And from the brand interaction point of view, the brand value point of view, the customer interaction will be different here. Yeah. So what is your strategy behind this? Like if you are planning to provide a digital communication or uh, centralized digital communication to your customer, you have to be make some strategy from the organization level. It is not applicable, it might be at the developer level or architect level. It is more like an organization goal and the people or organization who want to invest in the digital transformation, they can follow this strategy. So how you can convert 3M to 3C is more like a data-driven analysis. So data is very important. Analytic is further very important in action. So if you capture properly a whole data, if you are making the complete analytics, and if you can able to provide a data-driven analytic personalization or action, then your digital communication would be really, very perfect. So what does it mean? You have to collect all the data. You have to provide analytics. And once your analytic is done, you can take a proper action, whether it is on website, call center, or manual, you can win the customer. So this thing seems like easy. OK, I can provide data analytic action, but it is not simple. Yeah, Simple, but it is not easy to implement. So centralized customer experience, if you really need to provide, I have some approach that I personally feel it will be helped to any of the organization if they follow the same. The first thing is the top-down approach. Like if you are making any of the strategy based on the customer communication, it has to be top management alignment. You have to be align your CMO, CTO. This is what our, this is the organization should look like. And if it is coming from the top, it is really important to bring it to the down. And also second factor is you need to see the problem or the statements from the very High level, word view level, so you can see the all aspect of the problem. Second thing is, it is not a technology only. Like there are a lot of process involved once you uh, planning to communicate a centralized communication to the, any of the customer, or you want to follow the complete digital transformation. It's more or less the people process also involved. So the statement like I installed Sitecore or Adobe, the things will solve. No, from the business point of view, from the organization point of view, there are a lot of factors which is really very important. Customer first approach, whenever you see the solution, you're making any website, apps, any solution, always think who will be used and how customer want to feel, how customer can I able to solve any customer problem. Yeah. So your solution should be customer first approach. Embrace the change. Whatever changes are coming in the market, you have to adopt from every level, from the developer level to the CEO level, from the organization level. I see a lot of organizations still, they are not taking the cloud, they are not taking the new technology, and they are not far away. Yeah? And from the developer point of view, if you don't want to upgrade yourself, is really very fast so embrace the change whatever is going on the market adopt it test it yeah this is really important choose the right product is very important sometimes what happened like some personal preference are there but you have to be very calculative when you are planning to choose any of the product or technology more or less all cars are same it all depends on your budget, your uh, organization uh, flavor. If 
you have a developers who are more well aware about the .NET or Java, might be even go with the technology which you are familiar and which is easy to deploy, easy to understand. So there are a lot of strategy behind, but this is really very important. You use the right product to achieve your goal. Business case. So business case is really, really important to do any of the strategy in your organization or in the technology without ROI, without any solid plan, nobody wants to invest. So if you have a solid plan to transform your communication or you want to provide some digital transformation, you have to be a solid business plan. Okay, this is much I want to invest in the technology or the time and this is my return. Start thinking from the ROI point of view and the business point of view, then you can be able to provide the, the proper justification, proper ROI of your time, money from the organization point of view, from the developer point of view. It's a journey, it's not a project. Sometimes what happened, we, we got some project, two months, we have to create a website, finish, done. But from the organization point of view, it is not like this. If I am investing in any of the tool technology, it's a platform, correct? And I'm investing in the long-term journey. Sometimes it fails, sometimes it's not working properly. So you have to think the long-term, okay, this is my product I'm working on. Maybe I will deploy, it's agile and maybe I can test, learn, I can improve. So my suggestion is always look the long-term product point of view, not for this project point of view, anything. So if you are able to provide all this thing and you are like a customer-centric approach, so how the organization look like who are providing the central approach to the client? Yeah. So in the last diagram we saw, everybody was working in isolation. But now if you think all your, of your customer is interacting with your brand. So in the in this type of organization, they are more focused on the brand. They are more focused on the omnichannel experience. And for the customer, they are talking in the same tone. Like either you are talking to the website, call center, and tutor. So from the customer point of view, they feel, OK, I am interacting with the brand. I am not interacting with the people, process, and the technology. So in the organization structure point of view, because their system and technology are very well connected, once they are providing the experience, whether it is on website or on call center or on Twitter, social media, they know on the call center, yeah. And they adopt that change and then they respond accordingly. So in this type of organization, whoever is communicating has no Okay, when he is purchased, when he research, when he delivers, what he is posting on my social media. And once you know all the action of the customer, you can able to provide the best customer experience to your clients. Yeah. So in this full picture point of view, my personal recommendation, Sitecore is fit in this type of tool where you need to provide uh, or uh, a tool technology and uh, Sitecore is a platform where you can provide the omnichannel experience, you can provide the well CMS, you can provide the commerce, you have a CRM functionality, you have omnichannel experience functionality. So it is a perfect marketing tool if you are thinking and it can solve your centralized customer communication problem if you deploy and plan properly. So if you think uh, like a one customer, so this is just a snapshot, okay, all, all activity you are tracking. So when we talk about data, analytic, and action, this is a more like a data and analytic part where you are tracking each and every event of your customer, regardless he is interacting with your website or he's interacting with your mobile app or he's interacting with the call center. So all the CRM transaction is capturing here, all your backend, uh retail transaction is capturing here or it is just a, a start you can expand you can build the solution based on your requirement but the whole idea is you can use this system as a centralized uh system centralized communication system so from now i'm moving from more bit on the technology point of view so we know the digital we know how we can make the digital thing happen 
and set was the best tool so set for provided a very good uh, tool or you can say the platform technology named x connect so basically x connect open the door for the, all the other vendor other provider other technology now they can easily connect through the x connect and they can able to track everything from other system into the site code so x connect is more like a middle layer and uh, it is built on the dotnet core it is on the open source uh, open api service layer and it is completely based on the microservice level architecture so the idea is like any of the third party can easily connect to your instant or in our uh, site code solution and uh, they can provide the functionality they can post the event they can get the event so you can track all the activity within one software. Cool. So I hope you got the idea how we are uh, how you are uh, um, going for the digital. How we are uh, use the site core. How we can uh, you know push and use the X Connect. So. Now I am presenting a demo and uh, I have covered some of the use case because when you talk about personalization or digital transformation, they all are very big words and big buzzwords. So I have picked some of the use cases which I'm going to show you. So first use case is like uh, I have, I have uh, take uh, two examples. One is a mobile uh, app. So it is a mobile native app. It is not a responsive mobile design. And second is a website. So what I'm gonna to do, I am gonna to track each and every activity from native mobile app to the site core using X Connect and JSS service layout. So we will see like uh, how we can create a customer on the mobile app and how we can track in the experience profile. Then we can see how we can track all the interaction using uh, JavaScript. Uh, service layout, all the events, all the site code goals. Then the third is very important use case is I'm not only tracking site code events, which is very basic goal, persona, and all, but I am tracking all the data and my custom uh, events into the site code. So all the transactional data also I am tracking in the site code experience. Then we will see like how we can provide the omnichannel experience. So let's suppose you did some transaction on mobile app. Based on that mobile app transaction, how you can personalize your website. That's a perfect example of omnichannel experience. Then we can see some uh, basic goal-based personalization and Facebook campaign-based personalization. Cool. So now I'm switching to the demo. So as I mentioned you, like uh, I just mimic uh, my business. So I am taking example of dream booking. So dream booking is nothing but it is a booking website, a travel booking website where a customer can book the flights, hotel, and they can see the deal. So I have two version. One is a mobile app. And here you can see I have a website as well. Yeah. So both the journey are available it's just a two channel to the customer so it's the customer choice they can use the mobile app they can use the website they can use the crm so in this example i just took two use case um, mobile app and the website yeah so let's start your journey from the mobile app so what happened i come to the mobile app i download the mobile app from the play store and I just going for the registration. So quickly, I go for registration. Let's suppose my name is Ram. I just create my email ID ram.com. Password, you can choose anything. Okay, cool. So now you can see my uh, home screen is here. Yeah. And uh, I have successfully registered in the mobile app, correct? Now, as per my use case, I want to see that contact into my site code. So what I can do, I can go to the experience profile and I want to search that contact that I have recently created. So if you go and check,
no so far no contact sometime it is taking time so now contact is created because it is already there so what i'm doing i'm going back and register and maybe i put john west john west at the rate email.com one two three i registered quickly i will go to refresh the page i will see whether my contact is created or not so you can see recently i created one contact from the native mobile app using x connect and now the contact card is empty because I have done any of the transaction here. Yeah? And as you can see here, I have customized this dream booking. So this is my non site code data, which is coming into the site code here. Yeah? And here you can see I'm going to book one flight. Currently there is no transaction. Now what I'm doing, I again go and I log in. The moment I log in, I just want to go and book on flight. So let's suppose Delhi to Chennai, 21st, 30. So now this is an important thing. What I'm doing, I'm also doing the personalization in this use case. So first I will show you the family persona and two persona. So I have created two persona. One maybe you can choose with the family or you can travel alone. Yeah. So let's suppose you are going with the family and you have one infant, one kid, and travel class, you are going with business class and you want a direct class, just and you start booking. So you you observe one thing like all the content that I am pushing is a family persona. So you can see all my data all my deals is all family because i am capturing the family based on the infant and child and i am pushing the family persona content let's see it is tracking to the experience profile as well or not i go to the experience profile i go to the dream booking and here you can see i am tracking all the data which i am pushing from the native mobile app to the site mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can see I created one family persona which is named as family, and I'm making this persona true and false. So right now this is under my family persona. Yeah. Now what I'm gonna do, I am going to the website and see how's the experience. Correct. So this is my website. I go to the login page. Currently it is neutral. They don't know whether I am family persona or I am not family persona. The moment I logged in, now you can see the brand interaction, correct? I don't care if it is a mobile or website, but I'm pushing the same persona based on my profile. So right now I'm a family profile and all the things are coming as a family. Now let's go and click book one more ticket so let's suppose now i'm a family and but i want to go alone somewhere so like suppose i go here i put i want to go daily to thailand suppose i want to enjoy my holidays i return i say this time i don't want to carry my kids and infant yes and the dark thing yes and search Fill out zero, zero. I don't want to carry my kids. Cool. Now, the moment you select your, uh, your persona, and now my website know okay, this is not a family guy, he is going along. Why should I give the family content? Now, all the content is coming as a solo, correct? Like along. So, if you go to the deals as well, if you see the deals, 
all the deals are coming based on your persona which is a solo persona yeah you are alone or you are traveling alone so you see how i am making the personalization based on the user input whatever you are doing i am tracking each and everything this transaction also you can see is being tracked so from the call center view from a communication point of view i am tracking each and everything and this is what i am doing the data tracking i am not tracking just a persona profile goal events which is out of the box in the site code it's a customized thing that i am doing yeah so you can see all this thing all your customer is tracked in one place now you can communicate better to to your customer cool so if you want to see this experience in the mobile as well what you can do you go here again as you can see as uh, i started to interrupt still we are seeing the website only it's not switched yet. not yet yeah it's slow or yeah so not slow yeah but now we can see okay. so now again i come to the mobile app because i booked as a fam, uh, as a solo so all this deal you can see it is coming from jss x connect and so my screen is little bit delayed or what screen yeah. casting and now it's so fine but clearly it was little bit delayed okay okay now sure so now you can see all the data which is coming as a uh, based on my preference and i am fully provide the omni channel experience now as per the other use case i want to provide some goal based personalization so what i am doing i am going to booking page okay cool so now you can see here the my screen download the app yeah so here what uh, we are doing we are providing the option to the customer okay you can download the app yeah so let's suppose i am and you can see the message is download the app correct i go and i click i am trying to download the app and i hit the buttons to download the app couple of time now you can see i am personalize my content based on the interaction so here i am pushing are you facing any issue it means if customer is again and again clicking on the button get on the app store and might be he is not able to download the app so this is small tweak you can do and you can provide a better customer experience based on the small things yeah so now you are asking are you facing any issue if you are any if facing issue please email to me so i know like okay this customer is click five time it means he is facing problem here yeah? so this is a personally uh, goal based uh, personalization that you can utilize so i will just show you how i have done this thing so i have customized the rule engine and uh, conditions based on that i am uh, tracking everything in the custom database and i am getting the data from there so you can see i have created the website and the mobile app so if i go to the booking presentation details finally out so here you can see i have created a custom conditions where okay the travel type is solo or the family based on the data which i am getting i am just doing a content change yeah so technically i showed you how i am doing this thing last one use case is my social media integration so let's suppose you want to provide some social media integration in the website and you can create the campaign so in the marketing there are a lot of campaign is going on and some people they want to push some content based on the uh, 
their media interaction so let's suppose your campaign is going on and you want to give some other content if the customer is coming from the facebook correct so here i click it one campaign and now i will show you how you can provide this communication so you come here and let's suppose you click from the facebook and there's a campaign code based on the campaign code you can see my whole page is different i i have the facebook campaign so now you can tweak your screen and you can uh, provide the custom experience if you want to run the facebook linkedin twitter any social media campaign all the traffic will capture here in the centralized repository so if i go to the experience analytics you can track all the interaction that your customer is doing so this is just a sample data so what time your customer come what is the visit all the thing you can easily track because there is a campaign code here based on the campaign code you can change the complete component of the website and you can do the personalization yeah so i think uh, i have done my all this use case and uh, if you have any question we can quickly get at all the questions which you have and then we can proceed any questions guys So far, we are good. Uh, I think almost we have covered everything. Uh, so I am I am okay if you want to ask any question or you can send an email if you have any question, any doubt, any specific use case exploration. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, Dini, can you close? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, so, thanks for such an informative uh, session, Ashish. It's great to hear from you. Uh, thanks for all the participants. Thank you. Thank you very much to host me, and it's a pleasure to me to host in the Sujui Asuch uh, user group. Uh, thank you, Ashish. Next yeah. time, also, we'll be expecting the same from you. Thank you. Yeah, thank thanks. you. Thank you.